Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, this session is Quadrature Amplitude Shift K that is QASK or QAM. It is the topic from the subject Digital Communication. Earlier, we have studied different techniques related to phase shift king. What we have studied in earlier part. We have learned that phase of a signal changes according to, the, uh, uh, according to the incoming data. If you want to eliminate noise totally, then if only phase is changing, it is difficult to eliminate the noise. So, in this system, both amplitude as well as phase goes on changing with respect to the uh, uh, incoming uh, incoming data this is quadrature amplitude shifting matlab phase or amplitude dono change kar rahe hai. we are considering that a symbol is made of of four bits matlab char bits use karenge ek symbol tayar karenge so total combinations will be 2 raised to 4 that is total there will be 16 combination this is the diagram for geometrical representation. On x-axis, I have marked phi 1 of t. On y-axis, I have marked phi 2 of t. Hum logo ne pehle uh, PSK me learn ke what is phi 1 of t and what is phi 2 of t. Presently, recall the thing, these are orthogonal signals. So, uh, 16 points. Ye jo har ek dot mark hai, this represents each point. So, there are 16 points. So, I have marked 16 points. Sirp, 8 point. एक क्वाड्रेंट के पॉइंट हमने कंसीडर किए s1 s2 s3 और s4 दीज आर फोर सिंबल्स व्हिच आई हैव कंसीडर ओनली इन वन क्वाड्रेंट टोटल 16 है अब इसके कोऑर्डिनेट्स कैसे लेके देखो phi1 एक्सिस पे मतलब x एक्सिस पे दिस इज a 2a 3a y एक्सिस पे दिस इज अगेन a 2a 3a इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट s4 देखो s4 के लिए x का वैल्यू x एक्सिस पे वैल्यू है a y एक्सिस पे वैल्यू है a so I have written coordinates of S4 as A comma A. Similarly, uh, for S3, I am talking about this symbol. S3 ke liye X coordinate is 3A, Y coordinate is A. So 3A comma A. S2 ke liye X coordinate is 3A, Y coordinate bhi 3A. So 3A comma 3A. Same way, S1 ke liye X coordinate A hai, Y coordinate 3A. Accordingly, I have written the coordinates. Jaise mene bata hai, sirf ek quadrant ka hum log uh, calculation kar rahe, means I am considering only four symbols S1, S2, S3, S4. So if I want to calculate the average energy, then average energy which is denoted by ES is 1 by 4 inside the bracket. Suppose is point se start kar rahe, iske coordinates dekho A comma A. So 1 by 4 kya liya? Kyunki hum log ko average kar rahe, total four symbols we are considering. So 1 by 4 then its its coordinates are a comma a so 1 by 4 in the bracket a square plus a square this coordinate square plus this coordinate square plus second symbol is ka dekh lo 3a bracket square matlab 9a square plus a square for this coordinate it is 3a bracket square matlab 9a square plus 9a square similarly for this a square plus 9a square if you add all these things so ye aisa aayega if you uh, add all these uh, things inside the bracket, it is 440A square. So it is same as 10A square. Do remember this is basic equation of ES. So what I got, ES is equals to, pe likhta main, ES is equals to 10A square. Therefore, A square is equals to 1 by 10 ES. Simple, ye 10 yaha pe transfer kiya. That means, a square is equals to 0.1 ES. Therefore, A is equals to square root of 0.1 ES. Now, observe this diagram again. This is called geometrical representation of uh, QASK. What will be the distance between two consecutive time? Koi, two consecutive points. Koi bhi do points consider karlo. Iske beach ka distance kai. Suppose I will consider S1 and S2. If I want to calculate this distance, they go, ye point 3A hai, ye 2A hai. So this distance will be 2A. So distance between any point, I have one calculation. Hai. Say, if you calculate the distance between any two points, then it will be 2A. So I have written distance D is equal to 2A. Therefore, in this case, distance D can be written as 2A. A, A means this value 0.1 into ES. Now take the square of this thing. So I will get D square. Dono side ka square lenge. D square is equal to 4. 
टू स्क्र इज फोर और स्क्वेयर रूट वैनिश करेंगे तो ब्रैकेट में आएगा पॉइंट वन ई एस देर फोर डी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट फोर ई एस देर फोर डी इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ पॉइंट वन ई एस ये डी स्क्वेयर का है आई वॉन्ट डी I want to obtain equation of distance d between two points, so it is point one e s. Now recall the basic things. जैसे मैंने बताया एक symbol तैयार करने के लिए हम लोग चार bits use कर रहे हैं. So e s that is symbol energy is four times e b, four times bit energy because e b is bit energy because we are using four bits. So let us put this value. So e s is four e b. So uh, If I want to obtain equation in terms of E B, then in place of E S, I will be putting this value for E B. So it will be point one into ha huh, one one more thing. This this square is point four E S. So this is point four. यहाँ पे correction कर लो. ये सिर्फ square root लिया है हमने. Point four E S. और ये है E S is four E B. तो E S के बदले में four E B put करेंगे. तो point four into four. This becomes one point six. E B. So the distance between two consecutive points for Q A S K is d is equals to under root of one point six E B, where E B is the bit energy. The next part is Q A S K transmitter. Exam point of view say uh, we may expect the direct question draw the block diagram of Q A S K transmitter or Q A S K generation, or question may be like this. Uh, draw the block diagram and write mathematical analysis of QASK transmitter. Uh, before discussing this block diagram, we will discuss the mathematical analysis. QASK signal is denoted by S of t, which is given by K1 A phi1 of t plus K2 A phi2 of t. Here, value of K1 and K2 is plus minus one. Or plus minus three. These are the values of K one and K two, which are constant values. Now, in earlier videos, PSKK videos, we have already discussed that phi one of t and phi two of t. These are called orthogonal, that is basis functions. ये उसके standard formula है. Phi one of t is root two by t s cos omega c t and phi two of t is root two by t s sine omega c t. Just now we have developed one relation. A is under root of point one e s. Now let us put the value of A. जैसे देखो, s of t का equation मुझे लिखना है. So s of t will be k one. This k one I am keeping it as it is. A का value है point one root point one e s. So I will put the value of A that is point one e s square root of point one e s into phi one of t. Phi one of t is into root two by t s cos omega c t plus k two. फिर से same logic a का value put करेंगे square root of point one e s. This is complete square root point one e s into root two by t s sine Omega C T. Let us simplify it further. So S of T is equal to K one. अब देखो ये दो terms हम लोग combine कर सकते हैं. Point one into two. So it can be written as point two E S upon T S cos omega C T plus K two. Same logic ये दो terms combine करेंगे तो point one into two it becomes point two E S upon T S so square root के अंदर में आएगा point two E S upon T S sine omega C T. Now last step S of T. Ah, uh, देखो E S E means energy, T means time period. So energy upon time is basically equation of power. So it is E S upon T S. So E S upon T S is denoted by P S. That is symbol power. So It is equal to k1 square root of 0.2 ps cos omega c t plus k2 square root of 0.2 ps sine omega c t.
this is the mathematical equation for uh, QASK output signal that is S of T. Now the working of block diagram. हम लोगों को QASK uh, signal generate करना है. B of T is input bit stream. It is first applied to serial to parallel converter. As the name indicates, the incoming bits are in serial form. इसको parallel form में convert करना है हम लोगों को. And we are assuming four bits. So incoming bits are applied over here. First, all these bits are stored in this block, block, and then they are converted into the parallel bits. This serial to par parallel converter block operates at a time period, rather a frequency related to T S, where T S is the symbol time. So its the clock hai that operates with respect to T S. It generates four bits in parallel form BK, BK plus one, BK plus two, and BK plus three. Out of these four bits, पहले जो दो bits हैं, मतलब this first two bits BK and BK plus one are applied to one DAC. DAC is digital to analog converter. So remaining two bits, that is BK, BK plus two and BK plus three, are applied to the lower DAC. Again, it is digital to analog converter. So upper DAC produces A E of T, that is E one signal. Uh, lower DAC produces A zero of T, A O of T. Then we are using one multiplier. So another input to this multiplier is the carrier signal to the upper multiplier. Applied carrier is root P S cos omega C T. To the lower multiplier, applied carrier is root P S sine omega C T. So after multiplication. These values are added, and corresponding QASK signal will be generated. So, from this block diagram, we can easily write output of QASK will be. Look at this equation. It is A E of T getting multiplied with this. That means this A E of T modulates the carrier, whereas A zero of T modulates this carrier root P S sine omega C T. So, A E of T into root P S cos omega C T plus A zero of t root P S sine omega C T. So this is the working of Q A S K generation or transmitter. The next part is Q A S K receiver. Uh, as the name indicates, it is the receiving circuit. मतलब हम लोगों को original bit sequence regenerate करना है. So at the input side, S of T is applied. We have just now discussed the uh, generation of uh, Q A S K system. So this S of T is applied at the input side. अब ये जो diagram है, this is almost same as the diagram of Q P S K जो हम लोगों ने already learn किया है. So here aim is that we need to generate two carrier signals. मतलब जो incoming signal है S of T, उसी से हम लोगों को दो carrier signal generate करने एक है cos omega C T, second is sin omega C T. So incoming signal is applied. First, it is raised to fourth power. Then it is applied to band pass filter, whose center frequency is 4F0. Then we are applying this. This signal is passed to frequency divided by 4. Everything is same like QPSK, which we already learned. And the output of this frequency divided by 4 circuit gives us two carriers. One is cos omega C T, second is sine omega C T. अब देखो ये दोनों carriers along with this S of T मतलब S of T इसको भी apply किया और same signal is applied to this upper multiplier as well as to the lower multiplier. So then S of T and this cos omega C T getting multiplied gets multiplied by using upper multiplier. Same case. सेम सिग्नल एस ऑफ टी और ये साइन ओमेगा सिटी सेकेंड कैरियर विच इज इंटरनली जनरेटेड एट द रिसीवर साइड इज गेटिंग मल्टीप्लाइड बाय दिस लोअर मल्टीप्लायर देन वी आर यूजिंग इंटीग्रेटर दिस सर्किट इंटीग्रेट्स द इनकमिंग सिग्नल फ्रॉम जीरो टू टी एस एंड इट जनरेट्स ए ऑफ टी एंड ए जीरो ऑफ टी डू रिमेम्बर इस केस में ए ऑफ टी एंड ए जीरो ऑफ टी आर नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट एंड दे आर नॉट इक्वल Then these signals are applied to ADC, that is analog to digital conversion. As the name indicates, it converts the incoming analog signal into the digital form, and it generates four signals: BK, BK plus one, BK plus two, and BK plus three. Last step is parallel to serial converter. So uh, this data, which is incoming data, which is in the parallel form, these bits are in parallel form. 
they are converted into the serial form to generate the original bit sequence B of T. The next part is spectrum of QASK. देखो ये जो spectrum draw किया है हम लोगों ने, it is same as the spectrum of M R A P S K, which we have already learned. Readings देख लो, this is minus F S, this is plus F S. So bandwidth is difference between these two frequencies. So in this case, bandwidth can be written as F S minus of minus F S. So it becomes two F S. Higher frequency minus lower frequency. So plus F S minus of minus minus of minus again becomes plus. So it becomes two F S. Now F S, we know that F S is the frequency which it can be written as F S is one by T S. Therefore, same equation of bandwidth can be written as 2 upon Ts. Ts is the symbol time. Now, recall one more relationship. Ts is equals to n into Tb. n means number of bits which are used to represent a particular symbol. Tb is the bit duration. So, Ts is n Tb. So, this is Ts. Same equation can be written as 2 upon n into tb now same way this one uh, tb that is time period is reciprocal of fb so tb is 1 by fb so bandwidth can be well written as 2 this 1 by tb is fb so 2 fb upon n this is the equation of bandwidth of uh, qpsk spectrum so dear students that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.